This screencast is to assist you with your homework with Module 2, Lesson 1, and is based upon the problem set. Although I do have one problem from the homework where I'll give you some pointers, but you should be able to do it on your own. Let's get started. We're going to have a number of problems like these in our homework. I have three examples here for us to go through, so let's uh, take a look at these. We have the standard form 230 times 20 and they want us to think 23 tens and 2 tens because 230 is the same as 23 tens and 2 tens is the same as 20. If we look at it this way we can decompose our numbers here and let's uh, just kind of outline our thinking here. When we talk about 23 tens we're talking about 23 times 10 and times 2 times times 10 and if we can use our commutative property to go 23 times 2 times 10 times 10 and what we're doing here is we're multiplying 10 times 10 or 10 10 so 10 times 10 we know is 100 and we know that 23 times 2 is 46. So 46 times 100. Again, we're multiplying 10 times 10 using the unit form here. 10 times 10, it would be 100. So we're going to put this into unit form at first, and then we're going to convert it to standard form. So I have 2 times 23 is 46. 46 what? Again, we look at this, 10 times 10, or 10 times 10, that's 46 hundredths. So we'll put it in unit form, 46 hundredths. Now we're going to go below in standard form, and we should be able to determine that 46 hundredths will look like that, and the answer is 4,600. Let's do another example. In this case, we have 410, which is 41 tens, times 400, which is 4 hundreds. So again, we can decompose this and kind of show our thinking. Uh, we have 41 times 10 times 4 times 100. We'll use our commutative property. We have 41 times 4 times 10 times 100. And if we look at our powers of 10, we can see that we have 10 times uh, 100, and that's 1,000. So our unit is 1,000. Doing the multiplication here, 4 times 41 would be 164. And again, our unit is thousands because we have 10 times 100. So our answer is 164 times 1,000, which is 164 thousands. <clears throat> Let's go on to the next example. We have less done for us here, so we have to do a little more thinking. If we look at our first factor, we see that we have 500, so we're going to change that to unit form, and we're going to say 500. Looking at my second factor, I have 6 hundreds, so we're going to put 600. And we know that the product of 5 and 6 is 30. Now we have 100 times 100 here. Well, let's write that out in standard form. 100 times 100. And we know that would be 10 to the 4th, or 10,000. So we have 30 10 thousands. Translating that to standard form, we have 5 times 6 is 30, and that's times 10,000. And the answer is 300,000. 
let's go on to the next set of problems here. All right, there's two examples that I'm going to do here. The answers are either going to be true or false, but if you do that, I'm, I'm not going to give you any credit, and I doubt your teacher would if you are a student from another classroom. Let's read our instructions. Determine if these equations are true or false. Defend your answer using your knowledge of place value and the commutative, commutative meaning we can change the order of the factors, associative means we can group the factors any way we like, and or distributive properties, uh, and we can get into that a little bit. All right, so we have six tens. I'm going to translate these to standard form. So six tens is sixty times 2 times 10 times 3 times 10. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to look at my 60. I'm going to decompose that to 6 times 10. Now we're going to uh, take the commutative property and regroup these. So I have 2 times 3 times 10 times 10. Okay, and we're going to now take that another step. I'm going to use a little, you just keep going horizontally here. That's the same as 6 times 10 times 10. Well, over here, on the left-hand side, we have 6 times 10. And here we have 6 times 10 times 10. They're clearly not equal. So I'm going to put a not equal sign across that, and I'm going to write the answer false. And I've used enough mathematics to show the steps that they're clearly not equal. So what, would, what do we have to do? Decompose these, use our properties to rearrange them, and uh, either prove or disprove. Let's look at our next one. I'm going to go right into some decomposition here. Uh, not using quite as many steps as the previous problem. I have 44 times... 20 is 2 times 10 times 10. And over here, I'm going to say 44 times 10 times 2. Now I'm going to rearrange these on the other side here. Uh, so I'm going to change that to 44 times 2 times 10. Well, I can clearly see that 44 times 2 times 10 times 10 is not the same as 44 times 2 times 10. So again, we're going to put a not equal sign there, and we're going to put false. I've got a warning for you, though. Uh, not all of these are false. So go ahead, do the others out. The main thing we need to think about is decomposing our numbers, writing them in standard form, and then manipulating them so that we using the commutative property so that we have our factors in basically the same order. So I rearranged this and decompose so that it was very clear that we have 44 as my first factor, 2 as my second factor in both of these, and my uh, powers of 10 or my factors of 10 are at the end of this and it's very easy to see that 10 and 10 times 10 uh, are not the same. Let's go on to another set of problems. There's a series of these and they all relate uh, horizontally uh, going from one problem to another starting with a basic fact and then we uh, change them to powers of 10 here and the, in the examples, they give several different approaches, or at least a few different approaches. So let's start with our basic fact. We have 45 times 3. And if we solve 45 times 3, it's easy enough to figure out 45 times 30, 450 times 30, and 450 times 300. We use that basic fact, and we use some decomposition and some commutative properties, associative properties, to make it clear. So let's go and do the step-by-step. -step. Again, I expect the steps 
you have an example in your homework, you have this to look at, you should be able to do it. So I'm going to start with 45 times 3. Well, I'm going to find that a little easier to do going vertically. I have 3 times 5 is 15. I'm going to regroup my 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So we're going to start with 135. Now this problem, we're going to take our 45 times 30 and change it to 45 times 3 times 10. Now we already know the answer to this part of the problem because we solved it over here. Uh, so I am going to now multiply the first two factors. I know that 45 times 3 is 135 times 10. And we know that that is equal to 1,350. Let's go on to the next one. I'm going to decompose my uh, factors once again here. Now this I have a few more steps because I have 45 times 10 times 3 times 10. Now I'm going to use my commutative property, and again, they show a couple different approaches here. As long as it's mathematically sound, I'm fine. So I have 45 times 3 times 10 times 10, and we'll again multiply the first two factors, 135, and we'll multiply the second uh, pair of factors times 100. Put in those equal signs, and we get... 1,000 or 13,500. Let's see if we can move this over and make a little more space for us to do this last bit of work. We'll see how this works. Sometimes it's not as expected. Yep, okay, it worked. Great. So, what are we going to do this time? And again, I could use parentheses with some of these. Um, so, let's do one with parentheses just to show you another uh, example. So, I have the first factor is equal to 45 times 10, and I could do that, times 3 times 100. And I can use my commutative property to rearrange these and my associative. So I have 45 times 3 times 10 times 100. Totally acceptable. And again, we can solve the first pair of factors. 45 times 3 is 135 times 10 times 100 is 1,000. And 135 times 1,000 is 135,000. Those are a few different approaches. There are examples on your homework page. You should have no problem working these out. It's good to get into the procedures of working these step by step. It'll prepare you for algebra in the future, but it's also a great way to keep track of your thinking and what you've done. I know that many of you can do these in your head, but uh, that will not be acceptable for homework for this teacher. We have one of the word problems. The first word problem, number four, is pretty simple. You should be able to do that without any problems. And this one's not that hard either. I just want to point out something. A, a number is 42,300 when multiplied by 10. So that's the answer. We have to find the original number. To find the original number, we have to do the inverse of multiplying. You should be able to figure that one out. Once we find the original number, we need to find the product. And of course, we should know that that means multiply of our original number, not this number, the original number. And then we're going to multiply that times 500. I'd like to see you use some decomposition in the process and do a series of steps for me. I hope that helps you with your homework. Uh